It's time for 5-Minute Advice for Authors, brought to you by Twin Flame Studios. Hi, I'm Jessica Bantam. I'm the author of Design for Identity, How to Design Authentically for a Diverse World. I'm a diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging practitioner. I'm also doing consulting and speaking on the intersection of design and DEI. The most important thing for readers to learn from my book is that actually regardless of our our career, our background, our profession, even though the book is focused on design, uh, is that we all need to get into the habit of discussing identity in the context of the work that we do. We can never really make progress when it comes to acknowledging culture, identity, and difference unless we talk about it. So that's what my goal is for people who read my book to get that actionable guidance. Something that designers really need to know is that it's not all on our shoulders to know absolutely everything about every possible cultural background, identity, or lifestyle. My book is really about setting the stage for asking the questions for customers to share what's really relevant and important and meaningful to them so that we can then take that information and incorporate it into our designs. One piece of advice I would have for anyone who wants to write a book is to really take the time to think about how you write well, (laughs) to think about the time of day that works for you, to think about the setting and environment that is uh, best for you to really focus um, and get your work done. I used to think that I would need a whole day to dedicate to writing. And I realized I can only write in one or two hour windows. (laughs) And that was good for me. Uh, So just really know yourself, know your habits, and don't put too much pressure on yourself. When authors are considering uh, whether to do an audio book, I think it's important to remember your audience. Uh, People process information differently. They learn differently. Um, So reading a hard copy of a book may be more challenging for some people than others, or they may process the information better if they listen to your voice and they hear it from you. Uh, So as a DEI professional, that was one of the factors that I considered um, when I made the decision to record an audio book. My favorite part of recording my book with uh, Twin Flame Studios was actually the relationships that I got to build in such a short period of time. Uh, This was a high pressure kind of thing for me. I had a lot of anxiety about hearing my voice recorded for the duration of an entire book. (laughs) Um, But working with the team, they were just really supportive. um, And they actually continue to be supportive of me and my author journey as it's still uh, continuing now. Thanks for joining us on 5-Minute Advice for Authors. Remember to like, follow, and subscribe for more. And visit us at TwinFlameStudios.com.